Hi everybody, this is Brian Koo with another ROK video. Things are winding down at this purple star flag where we've been battling for a number of hours with no sign of progress. Funny thing about it, our R5 logged in, looked around for a minute, and immediately said, what are you guys doing? Build a bunch of other flags around them. And then we did that, and the enemy had no ability to defend more than one flag at a time. Their other flags started burning right away. And their willingness to keep hard defending this flag also disappeared. And I remember feeling a little foolish about it at the time, and I remember saying, well, I just got here. Uh, which was true, but it's just a good example of the fact that there are levels to this. There are levels to this game. Uh, what's easy for one person is difficult for somebody else, and there's definitely an aspect of work smarter, not harder, in Rise of Kingdoms. So we stretched this defense out, they gave up quickly, and we found ourselves in a situation where we were going to cut off a lot of enemy territory, and it was all located in this little corner of the mountains, tucked away, protected from the rest of the zone, a grove, if you will, from which we could zero all the cities that were disconnected and offline. And so that's what we're going to watch today. We're just going to watch a video of us zeroing and looting a bunch of cities located in a nice little grove. I'm going to put some music behind the footage. I'll pop in from time to time with a few thoughts. But yeah, just uh, enjoy the zeroing. The 
nice thing about being tucked away like we are is that there are no enemy cities around that can harass our marches, attack our troops as they're returning from a rally or returning from a loot. So we were getting free resources here other than the troops were losing on the actual zeroing. I tried to offset that a little bit by running a, a siege rally on Polish's city. Siege rallies are really slow. The trades aren't that exciting. But if ever you're going to siege rally somebody, you would want to do it in a situation like this where my city is right next to the target. And it worked out because we were working on a much bigger target over on the right side, a player who had about four and a half million troops. And so I basically just slowly, gradually zeroed one guy with my siege marches while we were zeroing the bigger boy and looting all these smaller cities. Scenes like this are the culture of Rise of Kingdoms. The fighting may be the focus of the game, and it's what we're always building towards. But moments like this mirror our day-to-day -day experience in the game, where most of our time is being spent sending marches across a green map to gather resources, hanging out with our teammates, and fighting non-human enemies. Now in this case, we're gathering those resources from player cities, and the only reason they're non-human is because they're offline. But it still gives the vibes of a nice day in the home kingdom with nothing to worry about.
You might have noticed earlier in the video that I took some time to set up gatherer preset marches. I did that because the city here had 2 billion resources. I was as close as anybody to get those resources. And the best city looting commanders in the game are the gathering commanders that have a troop load bonus. Gaius, Sarka, and Siondiak have a 30% bonus, which is quite nice. But the two best city looting commanders are Cleopatra and Ashita Mitsunari with their 50% additional troop load. I wonder what our allies in 2206 thought of my siege rallies here. 2206 had some absolute monster whales and many of their best players, when this KBK was over, migrated to 1960 and are now part of that core 960 army that is arguably the strongest in the game. And here I am with Mechmed YSS siege rallies, trying to slow zero this city so that we can save a few more real troops. They were rallying the city with archers and after one more siege rally, they're gonna help speed up the process with a swarm. I was happy to join them and then grab most of the stone.
This rally party took place in Zone 5, very close to the Level 5 passes that grant access into Zone 6 Brockton. And Brockton is really the key zone that 2206 has its sights set on. And in the next video, we'll look at how we help 2206 enter that zone in a successful way. Which, if we do it right, is going to shift this KVK heavily in our side's favor. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please leave a like on the video. Put a comment down below with your thoughts. And until next time, I will see you all on the flip side.